evening, brothers and sisters. I just want to talk tonight a bit more about the end times. I know the channel is about the promotion of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and the advancement of our kingdom and the kingdom of Father God. And we've got a place at the end we can send you, as you probably know on this video, uh, which we'll go into, where you can learn more and be more and grow more, the global church. But anyway, tonight I'm going to discuss mostly Matthew 24 and confirm that we're here. We're ready to go. That's what I'm going to do tonight. But in Matthew 24, uh, after Jesus has explained to the disciples about the abomination and desolation and the times tribulation, he says, Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. You know that. Or oh, they do. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the doors. Assuredly, I say unto you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. And I will explain what a generation is, as if you need to know, most of you. But I'm always conscious there's a lot of people coming to the Lord um, for the first time, and a lot of people never been into end times. So we're, we're not going back to basics, we're discovering even more. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. Because Jesus is this word. Maybe not this one, but the original Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic, but that's for sure. We'll touch on no one knows the day or the hour. This is always very controversial, isn't it? But uh, Jesus said, but of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Now we know that was a great surprise. People were just going about their daily lives, aren't they? Although we're locked down with COVID, it's not the same. But we're still going about as if it's not going to happen. You know, it was never pleasant in the days of Noah, was it? There were giants and things about, weren't there? So when we, we, we contrast that statement, think about that. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. They were carrying on, barring COVID, their normal lives. And we're doing our best to do the say, same. But that don't cancel out the fact that it could happen tomorrow because it could. And did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be. That's a significant part. We could be so dense in COVID-19 and illness and the rest of it, as well as being married and drinking and do not care about the troubles of the world, is what he's saying. Keep looking up and at. Then two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other one left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and the other one left. Watch therefore, for you do not, n not know what hour your Lord is coming. It's not just we do not know the day nor the hour. We do not know, but we know the season. We're in it. He could come any time. So let's move on. First of all, we're seeing all these things, all of them. Everything that's been said, we're seeing that Jordan has issued a warning regarding the abomination of desolation. There has been a temple on the mount. Uh, sorry, there has to be a temple on the mount. Jordan issued a warning this week because of the activity of the Jews on the Temple Mount. Well, it was a few weeks ago. The status quo is being disrupted, isn't it? It's being disrupted. The Jews were not allowed to use the Temple Mount. Then they were allowed to go and pray a bit. Now they are having meeting uh, meetings and they want to rebuild the Temple. Jordan is saying, watch it, watch it. You know, Jordan is getting, it's getting, the status quo is in imbalance, you know, now we've had the peace plan and so on and so forth. There is a tremendous momentum to build at the temple, isn't it, at the moment? We are seeing all things happen now. We're pushing, everything is being seen. There's no more to see, according to this prophecy of our Lord Jesus Christ. And, you know, if you struggle with other prophecies, if you struggle with prophecy anywhere else, then go to what Jesus said, the red letter bits, and work back from there, because he is control of everything. In the Bible, in the world, in the sea, in the sky, he is the complete controller. But after that, Jesus describes the rapture. Business as usual, you know. 
doesn't he? It's, it's it's business as usual. That's what we're saying. As usual is unusual at the moment, but it's business as usual for those who are not even looking up. And I'm including, there's a lot of churches that don't want to know end times. They don't want to know what the, the last bit of the Bible is saying and the thousand prophecies within the Bible have been telling us, of which 500 are yet to be fulfilled and 300 are of which are about Jesus' second coming. And he goes on, Assuredly I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. Assuredly means, I guarantee you. I guarantee it. This is a guarantee. Some people would say that he is talking about his generation. It passed away, didn't it? <laughs> we know it wasn't his generation. They all died. They all died. It wasn't his generation. It is the generation that we'll go into. So the generation that sees the beginning of the end times will see the end of the end times. As is said in Joel 2, 30 to 31, And I will show you wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great awesome day of, of the Lord. It shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For Mount Zion in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said, among the remnant whom the Lord calls. For behold, in those days and at that time, when I bring back the captives of Judah to Ju and Jerusalem, that's happened, I will also gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. All nations, Armageddon. That's an interesting one, isn't it, in Joel? 2, 30, 31. And I will enter into judgment with them there on account of my people, my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. They have also divided up my land. Ouch. It's God's land. Now, if you're here for the first time and for the first time trying to get your head round end times, prophecy and the biblical terms, you know, we... We'll take our time with it. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, but if we look at everything here, the blood moons, the wonders in the sky, the regathering of the Jews, the persecution of the Jews, people, uh, Jewish people, which is on the rise, including the US, including the US, persecution of the Jews, and the dividing of the land. I don't mean that skittingly, actually. It's not you guys. You know, I'm saying you know who the persecutors are. The dividing of the land of Israel, everything in our generation aligns up with the generation, with our generation, aligns up with our generation. The beginning of the end times was 1948. And that's what I wanted to say before. For those coming in here for the first time, it all centers around the Jews and Jerusalem and the Holy Land. That's God's time clock. Jesus said, look up. Come on, brothers and sisters. It's time to look up. When you see these begin to happen, look up and lift up your head, for your redemption is near. I love it. People will say, well, you don't know how long a generation is, so what is a generation? Uh, Psalms 90.10 gives us a good example. The days of our lives are 70 years, and if by reason of strength, they are eighty years. Yet they, yet there is a, yet their their boast is only labour and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, cut off, and we fly away. Psalm ninety, ten. How far are we since the clock started in nineteen forty eight? Seventy one and three quarter years. It's ticking. It's ticking faster than I can get them out. But if a generation is eighty years. You have to take in, uh, take this and add seven years to it. Okay? 1948 plus 80 years. If the rapture happened today, the tribulation is seven years, it will be 78 and three quarter years for that generation. I'm not setting dates. I'm just doing the maths. I don't do dates. I don't do dates. But sometimes we look at it as close and as near as we can 
And sometimes we go back. I'm, I'm one. Um, I've. I'm not a teacher, but I've been accredited with teaching because of my simplicity. I mean, that's because I'm I'm a simple guy, you know. And maybe I needed to be taught simply. Sometimes we can overcomplicate things, but if we take Matthew 24 and and read it through and chew on it bit by bit, and I'll be doing this a lot, small videos about these items of end times. But we are here, as far as tribulation, as far as tribulation is concerned. And as far as rapture is concerned. Now there's great arguments about pre, mid, post. Fine. But please don't send me all the mid-trib ones. Or all the post-trib ones. Did I say that right? Send me all sets of three out in a spreadsheet nice and tidily. And we'll go over them. I see so many people talking about a pre-trib. Or a mid-trib or a post-trib. But they don't look, they don't never, never get on YouTube and look at every scripture about tribulation. But I'm a pre tribber okay? I'm not going to be here. I'll go and polish the gold footpath or something. I don't know, but I'm not going to be here. I can assure you, and I have many scriptures to back that up. But I'm pre trib and I'm not in question and argument about that. I respect whatever you think and whatever you say about that. Now, I just want to say before, as I do always. Um, Discord is is a server we use. It's not a website as such. It's a server we use, whereby you can have fellowship. There is over three thousand people in there now, <clears throat> having great fellowship. I hope uh, you there. You can be baptized by Grace Girl Victoria. You can have prayer for di um, divine healing from Cal M. Uh, New Creation Man Mary. She is tackling the healing through deliverance. Bless you. And Brother Frank is in the holistic medicine room where he'll guide you on alternative medicines other than Big Pharma. You will be prayed for the moment you ask, I can assure you. Or get on to me and say they didn't, and I'll tell them off. But I can assure you, just be there. The link is in the description. Okay, there's other links in the description. There is Patreon, which I use as a very small charge to support me and also to keep Patreon happy. They don't do it for nothing, neither does YouTube. That's why people go missing now and again. <laughs> uh, but that's where all the serious news goes, or stuff I can't put on YouTube. The mailing list is so important, because if anything happens to any of these social medias, I can bring us back together again. Because the Lord has said, not just preach the gospel, which is, by the way, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and keep these things in your mind, heart, you are saved. If you keep these things in your mind, if you pick up your cross and follow him. But you need to have your lamps lit. You need to be into this stuff right now to keep your lamps going. You really do. I'm on a high because I know it's close. I don't know exactly how close. But I can wait another year if need be. I'm not praying out loud. <laughs> That's a long time. But brothers and sisters, I'm going to leave you with that and say, may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.